Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Zeke the Crypto Miner and today I'm bringing you another video, this time over renting versus Airbnb. It's just a thought I came across and I watched a few videos on YouTube over a couple of real estate agents that are actually doing it and making a big profit off of it. So I've been doing some research of my own and trying to see if it's a good fit for me. So let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, YouTube, over the last couple of weeks, I've been looking at a couple of properties, trying to get my feet into the uh, real estate game, other than just buying REITs. Um, so in the Houston area, I was looking for something that's around certain attractions or by airports, and I found a pretty good one for a good price around NRG Stadium. And that's actually where the Houston Texans play. And it's also kind of close by Rice University and the University of Houston. So uh, it's right off one of the major highways. And I found one for around $63,67,000. This one right here that I'm showing you is right now is $63,000. It's a uh, one bed, one bath, 780 square feet. For around, and it has a pool inside the complex. It's actually an apartment for sale or a condo for sale. And here's another one for 67,000, two beds, uh, two baths, and a thousand square feet. And I did some research in the area on what are these, and I did some research in the area on what are these actually renting for? What is this area renting for? And so if we take a, a quick click right here, turn off for sale and turn on renting. Uh, this same area is renting for um, $895 per month, $850 per month, $800 per month. So um, in these same complexes, uh, these are renting for $825 and the most expensive one is $895 a month. So it's not bad to be inside the loop of uh, 610 in the Houston area. Uh, even though this one is two bed, one bath, and one that we were looking at was two bed, two bath. So I say around the estimate price for a full month of renting would be around $900 a month for a two bed, two bath, 1,000 square foot uh, near the NRG Stadium where the Houston, Texas play. And I'm looking for somewhere where there's a lot of attractions, where the Houston Rodeo is, just so that if I do decide to Airbnb it out, instead of just renting it out for $900 a month, would I make more profit renting it out uh, on Airbnb rather than just uh, leasing it out to a tenant? So if we go over to Airbnb and go to the same area, what are, what are houses going for in this area of Airbnb? Let's redo the research. Okay, so um, here's one. So in this area, Here's some for um, $95, $92, $70, $75, $64. So let's say uh, the one that I was looking at in that area, the two bed, two bath, that I could Airbnb it out for $80 a month. I mean, $80 a night um, after Airbnb take their cut. So you might list it as $95 and you take your cut of, 90, of $80 every time you rent it out, every night you rent it out. So if we do some quick math on that and pull up the calculator, um, if you rent it out for, let's say you have a, a perfect, just best case scenario, you rent it out uh, every single night on Airbnb for the seven days a week. So that's 28 days times uh, what we said, 80 bucks in a perfect scenario that same house that I would have been leasing out for eight hundred dollars a month uh i would make a two two thousand two hundred and forty dollars off that in one month now that's an insane margin that's an insane growth that's why a lot of people are actually airbnb being out there um properties instead of leasing them out especially if they're near something that has a lot of attractions around it um let's say in the worst case scenario you only rent it out for half the months for 14 nights and you multiply that by 80 now you're still in the profit 1120 bucks so that's just saying that if you only rent it out for six months out of the year um six months out of the 12 months out of the year you will still make more money uh airbnb in it out than you would listen it to an owner okay um that's just how I feel. And if the very, very, very worst case scenario, you only rent it out for um, seven nights in a given month, 
multiply that by 80 and you're you will make 560 bucks but now you'll be making less but in the other months like december when people go on vacation that's where you could actually raise the price and makes that profit back but i'm pretty sure that you'll be able to lease it out i mean to rent it out more than seven nights a week maybe not in the beginning but once you get your customer service in, then you will actually be able to rent it out more in the future. But once starting up seven nights in a month might sound good, it might be plausible, but later on, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get two weeks uh, full out of every single month and you'll make a pretty good profit. Now, the other drawbacks about Airbnb being it out versus leasing it out is that A, um, you have to Pretty much have a property manager to take care of everything to come clean to uh set up your uh, customer service every time you're renting it out on airbnb taking care of the keys making sure everything's okay so you're gonna have to do a lot of communication back and forth with every new customer coming through your house then you're gonna have a new customer in your house every single time they rent it out other than dealing with one tenant uh for an entire year also you're gonna have to buy um internet electricity and pay the water bills you're gonna have to pay all the bills yourself and that's gonna come out of your profit of actually um airbnb and it out but airbnb do have um insurance for big different kind of cases to where if anything get messed up they would charge the person that actually stayed there or airbnb will reimburse you with their um, customer service but yeah but internet is not that much most airbnbs i ever stayed in they have an amazon fire stick and they have a, a netflix account a hulu account and maybe a sling account to where nobody have cable in our in nobody has cable in our um regular TV, everyone has Netflix, Hulu, or the Sling account to watch TV. Uh, you have to pay your electricity bill, but since it's a smaller uh, condo or apartment, it shouldn't be too much and you have to pay your water and gas bill. So you do have to pay your bills when you do Airbnb out uh, your property, but the, 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 the risk and reward is that you will make a lot more money airbnb it out and if you want to just uh lease it out to one good tenant for let's say two three years uh that one good tenant take care of your property you don't have to worry about much it's less of a hassle no customer service really needed you just check up on them every now and then and you will get paid every single month compared to um trying to fill vacancy in your calendar on when can people come meet up get the keys set up your door ring change the codes every time someone leaves so there's benefits and drawback for airbnb being out your uh, property but you could just hire a property manager that would take profits away from your airbnb but you could just add that onto the cleaning fee and whoever cleans the house can actually be the property manager of your airbnb uh, rental property so this is that's one of the things i've been actually thinking about doing um 63 67 if i could find one around fifty thousand dollars i might go on ahead and buy one um furnish it i do have furniture already in storage i would just put that furniture inside my, my airbnb and i would actually think about renting it out for a couple of months and if that's not successful then i will go ahead and lease it to uh, uh hopefully i find a great tenant to actually put in there so that i can have a good clash cash flow from my rental property but yeah guys uh tell me have you ever had a bad airbnb experience down below in the in the um comment section or if you are actually uh if you have any rental properties that you actually own near a beach or anything like that that you actually rent out on airbnb and make a a great margin of profit just from using airbnb there are plenty of people that do this they have four or five houses or four or five apartments under their account and they are making a killing but you know there's a flip side to it that it's a, it's a high risk high reward but yeah guys go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section let me know your airbnb expenses and do you think this is an actual good idea or is it dumb and you should just go ahead and lease it out to one person and make them sign a contract for a full year but other than that this is zeke the crypto miner and i'm out peace